Hey, I'm Kevin, and today I'm gonna to try and maximize the amount of lumber that I get out of these three small logs. And I'm excited about it because for the first time, I get to put some hardwood on my mill. And for as long as I've owned my Woodland Mills HM126, I've been working through a mountain of hemlock logs. And if you've ever worked with hemlock, I'm sure you can understand why I'm excited to get something else on the mill. And today's treasure is gonna be these three red maple logs. Now, unfortunately, they aren't very big logs, but I'm okay with that because they're the only ones I have on the pile, so I can't be picky. So this one here is a little over nine and a half at the operator end. So now I wanna ask myself, what do I wanna get out of this maple? Well, because I don't have a lot of it, I know I wanna get a slab. I might make some kind of furniture out of it, I'm not sure, but I'd love to get some eight quarter inch material, which means I want it to be two inches after it's dried and flattened. So I'm gonna go two and a half inches and that should give me a lot to work with. And then for the rest of it, I'm gonna shoot for four quarter boards because those are the two most common thicknesses that I hear when I watch people make furniture. So let's get that slab marked out and we'll see how many four quarter inch boards we can get. I'll make my first cut here and this will be waste. Then I'll drop down and get my first four quarter board, which will have the plain sawn cathedral grain. And then I'll drop down and get my first riff sawn four quarter board. And then I'll flip it over and then I'll take my other flats on board and my other riffs on board. And that'll leave me with just my slab on the deck, of course, containing my quarter sawn lumber and the pith as centered as possible. And then I'll pair up these flitches, stand them on end and cut them to the widest possible dimension that I can, and that'll be everything that this little log has to offer me.
Well, check these out. Here's my four four quarter boards and my one eight quarter slab after they're dried and flattened, of course. And I'd say that's a very good yield for a very small log, which brings to mind the question what I might actually build with this. I'm not sure. When I look at this slab, it's almost 10 inches wide, uh, about 10 feet long. I say I could cut that into three lengths and uh, you know glue those up potentially make a 30 inch slab top table maybe cut it into a circle i'm not sure it had absolutely gorgeous spalting i was not expecting that it has been on the pile for a couple years but i didn't expect it to show me what it did i mean red maple isn't exactly a showstopper green but there is nothing bad I can say about this spalted red maple. It's just absolutely gorgeous. These are just the top two sections of that last log that I just cut. And since I've decided that I'm gonna make a tabletop, I think it would be wise to use the rest of the lumber to make a table base. Because when I hear people talk about furniture, they say to keep it cohesive. The best thing you can do is build the whole thing out of one tree. The reason being is that the next red maple that I cut might not look like this red maple that I have right here, you know? I don't look like you and the same goes for trees. So to keep it all looking the same, I think I should take as many eight quarter boards out of these as I can. And then if there's a four quarter board I can grab, so be it. But when I see the professionals make a table base, they usually grab a stack of eight quarter material and they glue it up into something that looks cool. So hopefully someday I will be able to do that and hopefully I'll be able to use these logs. So let's get this one on the mill.
Welcome to the barn where most of my lumber is stored. The pile that I'm sitting on right now is that hemlock mountain that I mentioned earlier. And the boards next to me, of course, are all my maple. I ended up being able to get three two and a half inch boards, one of them eight inch, two of them six inch. And then I was able to get five inch and an eighth boards, one of those six inches and the rest of them four inches. And there is some degree of waning down a few of them, but that's fine with me because I'm not intending to use the whole board. There's gonna be good pieces in there between the wanes. So I'm gonna say that I'm satisfied with the yield that I was able to get out of one small tree. And I'll say that I'm more than satisfied with the beautiful spalting in the grain that I got. So the only thing left for me to do now is get them stacked and stickered. I'm gonna get to work and I'll catch you on the next one.